In a previous video, we learned about various measures of classification of performance, specifically precision and recall, specificity and sensitivity. But beyond understanding intuitive, intuitively what they mean and learning their formulas, which measures are appropriate to use in which scenarios? That's what this video is going to address. The first thing to note is that with all of these measures, true positives are always valuable and important. So the positive class is a class of greatest interest. And so by definition, whatever uh, is the true positive, that is the model correctly predicting positives, is very important to the modeling exercise. And therefore, in both pairs, you always include recall or sensitivity. Recall and sensitivity actually happen to be exactly the same thing. They're just different ways of looking at the same thing. They are, what is the percentage of true positives divided by actual real world positives? So you'll always include this. The question is, is this going to be paired with precision or is it going to be paired with specificity? Now, the main uh, criterion is how valuable are true negatives? So how valuable or important are true negatives? Uh, either true negatives are also important, not just true positives, or in some scenarios, true negatives are not that valuable or important. And that's what makes a distinction on which pair of measures that we'll use. So first, in the scenario where true negatives are also very valuable and important, not only true negative, true positives, but also true negatives. Um, so that means then that both true positives and true negatives are needed in the numerators. That is, in the formulas, they're needed on top of the fractions. So real world scenarios uh, where you would have this is, for instance, you might be choosing investments. You have uh, lots of choices of investment and you want an investment that turns out to uh, make a lot of profit. So that would be a true positive. But uh, a, tr uh, a negative scenario is a true negative is an investment where you would lose a lot of money. So you not only want to get the ones where you gain a lot, you also want to avoid the ones where you lose a lot. So that's a case where true negatives are also important. Uh, then in a hiring situation where uh, you're doing human resources analytics and you want to identify uh, good employees that match uh, your profile, well, that's a true positive, but you, always want to, you also want to avoid bad employees who do not match your profile. You don't want to be stuck with them and uh, just have a mutually miserable relationship. So it's quite important that your model also identify those that are not uh, good matches. And so in that case, true negatives are important. Uh, another case, uh, which is I think we can all relate to is detecting spam. So a true positive is when the spam filter identifies this actually is a spam email. And so it puts it in your spam box. But you also care about the negatives. You don't want it to uh, find legitimate mail and put that in spam box. You want it to correctly identify that this is legitimate mail and leave it in your regular inbox. So true negatives are also important. So these are examples of this. So because true positives and true negatives are important, you want to focus on both sensitivity and specificity. Sensitivity has true positives on top. How well does the model predict positive cases? And specificity has true negatives on top. How well does the model predict negative cases? The other scenario is where true negatives are not very valuable or very important. And uh, this might not be intuitive at first, but there's quite a few scenarios like that. Uh, a very, um, now, because true negatives are not important, 
then only true positives are needed in the numerators. You don't need to focus on true negatives on the top of the fraction. Uh, a classic example for this is information retrieval. Uh, for example, when you're doing a search on a search engine, uh, suppose you have there's a thousand articles in your data set and you there are 10 that you really care about that are really valuable and when you do the search you want to make sure you find those 10. well if an algorithm comes up with uh, 12 results uh, that you can really focus on but it only catches eight of those that you care about and misses two well you're not that happy about that but if another one comes up with uh, 40 results well, that's a lot to go through, but it captures all 10. You would probably prefer the one that captures all 10, even though there's a lot of uh, negatives there. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's preferable. And that's a scenario where true negatives are not as important. You, you, you can deal with lots of true negatives as long as you get your true positives. So in such scenarios, you focus on recall and precision. So recall has true positives on top, uh, but focus on what percentage of real actual positives were correctly identified. And precision is the other side of true positives, what percentage of predictive positives are correct. And But in both cases, they focus on true positives from both sides, and they don't pay as much attention to true negatives because that's not the most important thing in this particular uh, business scenario.